Why is understanding primitive data types in Java so essential? If you've ever pondered that question, you're in the right place. Starting off with the byte data type, an 8-bit signed integer, it's a compact powerhouse, storing values from negative 128 up to 127. It shines in situations where memory conservation is a critical factor, such as with large arrays or stream processing. Next up is the short data type, a 16-bit signed integer. It steps up where the byte leaves off, accommodating values from negative 32,768 to positive 32,767. It's your go-to when you need a broader range than a byte, but still want to keep memory usage in check. Then we have the int data type, a 32-bit signed integer, your everyday workhorse for integral values in Java. With a range from roughly negative 2 billion to 2 billion, it strikes a balance between range and memory efficiency. For the heavy lifters, there's the long data type, a 64-bit signed integer. It handles very large whole numbers from about negative 9 quintillion to 9 quintillion. It's the choice for situations requiring extremely large values, like timestamps or large sums. Moving into the realm of decimals, we encounter the float data type, a 32-bit IEE 754 floating point. It's the go-to for storing decimal numbers with moderate precision, fitting the bill for scientific calculations or scenarios where memory efficiency and moderate precision are key. For those who demand even more precision, there's the double data type, a 64-bit IEE 754 floating point. It ups the ante with higher precision, making it ideal for precise calculations, whether in financial applications or complex mathematical computations. Then we have the Boolean data type, the embodiment of simplicity, representing a true or false value. It's the backbone of conditional statements and logical operations in Java programs. Last but not least, we have the char data type, a single 16-bit Unicode character. It's the choice for storing letters, digits, symbols, or any other single character from the Unicode character set. So there you have it, a tour of the primitive data types in Java. Each one serves a unique purpose, and understanding them is crucial to becoming a proficient Java programmer. Whether you're storing simple values, performing logical operations, or handling complex calculations, these primitive data types are the fundamental building blocks of your Java programs.